Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is Whoopi speaking. And today is a good day because I could uh, successfully replicate the uh, system of uh, that dragon showed on a video. Okay, and to get sparks on a car coil with a Keisha. Okay, I simply change some little things, but the aim is the same. I think it's the same. Okay. So you have the cashier here, okay, with the circuits, okay, you see the scope probe of canal 1 and canal 2, okay, where they are, okay, and inside the cashier I put a micro oven cap, high voltage cap, okay, this cap, the outside, the cap thread, is connected to the loop antenna, okay, you will see on the machine after. Then from the uh, uh, cap, we go to a voltmeter in the middle, then we go to the coil, and on the positive side, I put a spark gap, which is an EPCOS, okay? Then in the middle of the uh, car coil, I put a screwdriver to get the spark, and I connected the, min the minus uh, to get the spark through the screwdriver, okay? Then, between the two leads of the cap to car coil, I have put the Avramenko plug, AV plug, with ultra fast diodes. Okay, I did two of each on each lead. And this is connected to the ground. The ground can be the grid ground or it can be the earth uh, that I. it is a copper rod. I uh, put in my garden and it works also very well. If you don't put this ground, all the system doesn't work. You need the ground. So the power seems to come from the ground. Okay, now let's go to the machine. Okay, you see now the cacher, my flat cacher. You see in the middle here the, the HV cap the AV plug here, okay, and around the cap I put this uh, steel wire, soft steel wire, exactly the same as for my lamp experiment on the previous video, and this make a loop here all around, but it is not closed here, okay. You have here the circuits, okay, with, I put here uh, some ventilation to refresh because uh, it can be hot sometimes. I don't know if it is very important. You see the scope probe, and you see here the ground it is simply a small steel it is connecting now to the grid here. And if I don't connect it, it doesn't work. Okay, now we go to the spa gap, here it is the EPCOS, which go on the positive side on the car coil, and I put here my screwdriver and small steel wire to make the gap. Okay, I think I've been uh, correct enough. Okay, well, first of all, I will disconnect the ground, alright, and now I will put the power. I put 20 volt, 194 milliamps, and nothing happened. Okay, now I shut down, and I will connect the ground. I connect the ground here on the AV plug, and now I put the same power. Hey, hey. and what happened? Nice spark here, and the EPCOS is lighting. <laughs> I am very happy with this. Okay, I, I just show you a scope shot of this. Okay, shut down now because I don't want to. Burn. I have put here the voltmeter, but it is not very interesting in this system. I only make it to check when I could charge the cap without the spark gap. It charge as a zap, 
uh, up to 1000 uh, volt very easily. Okay. Ah, very nice. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Dragon, Snell and Lance all together. I am very happy with you and I hope you good success for the rest. And goodbye at all. Thanks for watching.